so we set up uh, just a kick drum in a barrel, or put the barrel, like the kick drum inside the 55 gallon drum and mic that up. And I played a bass guitar, which I don't even know anything about playing a bass. <laughs> What spoke to me a lot about this song was I liked that uh, it kind of had this old timey blues thing, like where the where the vocal line hooks on to the guitar lick. I like the story of the song. Like I thought it went in a cool direction of two people discovering their affection for each other, even though like they've got to kind of keep it hidden and you know. It's like it's like the idea of like you know your your first your first boyfriend or girlfriend you know and and you don't want to tell anybody about it you know and you're trying to like sneak around a little bit. Your first boyfriend? No, not my first boyfriend. Maybe my second. But we swore that we were saints on the night I brought you. This is a good example of like of, of the environment helping to create or at least giving the freedom to be able to be creative and the environment um, helping to change and alter the song and in a real positive way, like in a positive energy. When we were messing around with it, um, there was a track on the Alison Krauss, uh, Robert Plant album, um, and I can't remember what it's even called, but it's an extremely slow track, and it's just so wide open, and everything has, everything has time to just ring out. The elements of the song that I was really, really hanging on to was that, kick drum inside the barrel and I love that sound I love the tone of it and all the weird overtones that we were getting and it was just trying to find an arrangement that allowed for that to completely dissipate so that we we heard it you know we heard all of the nuances of it 